Sebastian S. Kresge, nationally known merchant, respected humanitarian. The name Kresge is carried above the doorways of the world's second largest chain of variety stores and in the hearts and minds of people all over America who have benefited from the work of the Kresge Foundation, people like the youngsters of the Methodist Children's Village here in Detroit. The beautiful buildings, the spacious grounds of Children's Village, form a unique concept in child care. Few of its residents are orphans. Most are from broken homes, boys and girls whose troubled young lives need guidance, understanding, the security of a real home. The foundation has helped achieve this goal through a series of grants for construction of buildings and continuation of services. Thirteen cottages, each house eight boys and girls. They live, work, and play together much as any large family might, growing up under the love and guidance of an understanding house mother. The usual period of residence is two years. Then the child is returned to his own re-established home or to a foster home. His stay at Children's Village having prepared him for a useful, happy role as a contributing member of society. The work of the foundation is seen in many places in and around Detroit. Places like the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor, where the Kresge Medical Research Building stands as a lasting monument to the health of the world. Under the jurisdiction of the university's medical college, the five-story building houses 124 separate laboratories staffed by 400 experienced scientists and technicians. 50 to 60 patients from the university hospital are tested here every day, benefiting from the extensive research done in the building. The very newest equipment opens many avenues of study to technicians and research scientists. Carefully designed laboratories and a liberal outlook on the need for exploring the unknown offer great freedom in a relentless journey toward medical discovery. The Kresge Medical Research Building brings together under one roof all the research facilities of the University Medical School. Composed of faculty members and senior students, the staff performs, along with special research projects, continuous studies of arthritis, physiological acoustics, the central nervous system, surgery, cancer, intestinal diseases, serology, dermatology, hypertension, and allergy. With research work going on at all times, a brighter future is dawning for countless people who suffer under the burden of disease. For new light is shed daily on illnesses formerly regarded as incurable. Though the closeness of the research building to our town makes its activities especially important to the people of Detroit, lessons learned here are doing good for people all over the world. For medicine is a selfless profession. Its skills, its discoveries, are offered to everyone on an equal basis. Many research studies take years to complete, with staff members working only from theory, combining the known and the unknown, conducting experiment after experiment, finally coming up with new facts that will lead to the conquest of still another disease. Every means is employed to look into the future of the world's health. From modern electronic equipment to the time-tested use of animals in critical experiments. The effects of disease, the usefulness of new treatments are observed in the animals, giving scientists and technicians new insight into human illnesses. The Medical Research Building at the University of Michigan plays an important role in our march toward a life free of disease. Its modern laboratories and equipment, the freedom of its dedicated staff, made possible through the unselfish humanitarian contribution of the Kresge Foundation.
famed in our town and throughout the world as a vanguard in the care and treatment of the precious gift of sight is the Kresge Eye Institute. Founded and fully supported by the foundation, the Eye Institute serves several purposes. The treatment of patients, the training of physicians and surgeons, the improvement of eye health through extensive research. The benefits of its work are felt far beyond the boundaries of Detroit through close association with other institutions specializing in care of the eyes. The institution's affiliation with Wayne State University College of Medicine permits a broad scope of activity. Their combined facilities offer expert care to nearly 200 patients each day. Staff members conduct examinations, prescribe treatment, and perform delicate surgery in the modern clinic and operating rooms of Detroit Receiving Hospital. Each phase of the Institute's work contributes to the next. Its research advances the health of the patients, and in turn, students receive practical experience in their highly specialized field through the care and study of the patient. The extensive study of school children is being carried on to define the relationship between eye and brain in the learning process. Eye specialists and psychologists are working together in this project hoping to develop new methods of teaching eye coordination so that the very young may learn faster and more easily. Eye illnesses of all ages are studied and treated by institute personnel. Every phase of training in the field of eye specialization is covered by the institute's instruction program. Graduate training, a four-year course in orthoptics, hospital residencies for beginning eye specialists, and seminars and refresher courses for practicing physicians are all sponsored in cooperation with Wayne State. The Eye Institute's work in surgery promises fuller, more rewarding lives for countless people suffering from eye illnesses. It has pioneered in many new forms of surgery, passing on its discoveries to patients, increasing the knowledge of both students and established surgeons. A relatively young organization, the Kresge Eye Institute has, since 1948, attained a position of prominence in every undertaking. Its intensive specialization has given the staff uncommon freedom in pursuing important avenues of study. Its concentration on just one part of the body has helped cover great distances on the road toward better sight for millions. One of the Institute's advanced methods for detecting certain eye diseases is electroretinography, in which a complete apparatus is used to record electrical changes generated by the retina in response to light stimulation. Case histories provide valuable research information. Typical of the Kresge Eye Institute's achievements are the studies performed to eliminate blindness in premature babies. A successful research project which won for Dr. V. Everett Kinsey a coveted Albert Lasker Award in 1956. But awards themselves are not important to the Institute nor to its staff. The greatest pride is taken in the knowledge that people the world over are able to see the beauty around them. The priceless gift of healthy sight for people of all ages, of all races, from every walk of life, is reward enough for the unceasing work of the Kresge Eye Institute. Back in 1943, the world-famous Hooker Collection of Scientific Books and Papers was offered to Wayne State University for $100,000. Unable to raise the money, the university brought its problem to the attention of the Kresge Foundation, which promptly granted the funds and later on in 1949 built the beautiful Kresge Science Library to house the valuable collection. Today, the Hooker Collection and nearly 70,000 other volumes on every scientific subject offer students at Wayne State College of Medicine an endless source of knowledge and information to help them through their long term of study. Most of the library's collection of books is kept on open stacks for the convenience of thousands of daily visitors. The library staff is well trained to serve Wayne students. 
Librarians and their assistants have many years' experience in caring for and supervising the distribution of books, reference material, and periodicals of all kinds. The students are not the only users of the Kresge Science Library. Many professional people, scientists and engineers from Detroit and distant cities use its facilities for research work. The library is a place Wayne students know well, from their first weeks at college until graduation. They stand before the card catalog many times, searching for an author, a title to fill their study needs. The library becomes a friend to rely on, a silent instructor imparting a wealth of knowledge to inquisitive young minds. They know that proper library housekeeping assures the presence of the right book on the right shelf. The librarian becomes a close associate. When help is needed, she's always there to offer a sound suggestion. Through hundreds of visits, her face grows as familiar as a best friend's. Her knowledge of library procedure solves all problems. Every type of research and study aid, including a modern microfilm reader, is available to users of the Kresge Science Library at Wayne State. This is the brain of a monkey, its blood vessels being stimulated by electric current in a study of the causes and prevention of strokes. This experiment is one of the many made possible by Kresge Foundation grants made to Wayne State Medical College. In another experiment at the medical college, controlled air pressure is fed into a special air gun designed and built by members of the Department of Neurological Surgery and used to produce concussion in experimental animals while under anesthesia. By pressing a valve, pressure is released against the brain and the concussion is produced. During the experiment, the animal's responses are recorded. First, before pressure is applied, normal responses are shown on the indicator. When the air gun is put into operation, the responses begin to change. Through this experiment, the exact cause of concussion, as well as the amounts of energy required to cause such a concussion, can be deciphered and worked out, helping to find the means of preventing serious head injuries. In aiding the cause of education throughout our country, in helping laboratories and hospitals find the way to better health for all, in caring for the needy, the homeless, regardless of age, origin, or belief, the Kresge Foundation has turned the success of a giant private enterprise into a tool for the betterment of mankind. The red and gold face of the five and 10 emblazoned across the shopping districts of America, is a colorful symbol of our nation's treasured system of free enterprise, a tradition as much a part of the United States as baseball and hot dogs. Everyday items like thread, combs, buttons, ribbon, toothpaste, are synonymous with the 5 and 10. The name Kresge is also synonymous with the 5 and 10. The history of one is the history of the other, going back to 1899, when the first Kresge 5 and 10 cent store was established on Woodward Avenue in Detroit. Today, more than a half century later, over 700 modern stores in 28 states and the District of Columbia and Canada serve millions of wise, thrifty Kresge shoppers each year. District offices in Detroit, Pittsburgh, New York, Chicago, and Toronto supervise operations, each doing its part to make the organization function smoothly, each contributing to the success of one of America's most unique merchandising chains. In the early days of the Kresge Company, prices rose no higher than the five and 10 cents promised by the sign outside. Later on in 1911, answering the call for a greater variety of goods, but still at reasonable prices, Kresge's began to offer its customers merchandise in the 25 cents to $1 range. Public response was unanimous, leading to the five and 10 we all know today, a large combination store, 
that's literally a one-stop shopping center for the entire family. Though higher-priced merchandise is now sold at the 5 and 10, the policy remains the same. The most value at the smallest possible cost. The atmosphere is the same, too. Even items costing dollars instead of cents are 5 and 10 items. Where else can the homemaker find a varied selection of lampshades of all styles and sizes at such modest cost? And at the very next counter, smaller items like bath and kitchen towels, and further down the aisle, attractive accessories for the ladies. The operation of all Kresge stores is supervised from the executive offices on 2nd Avenue in Detroit. Completed in 1930, the modern administration building is one of the city's outstanding landmarks. Its striking facade invites business associates and friends inside, where in spacious offices, the administrative staff of 850 tends to all behind-the-scenes jobs. The far-flung Kresge chain of stores obtains its vitality from the modern methods used here from the forward-thinking policies formulated within this building. The company's founder, Sebastian S. Kresge, still takes a keen interest in its operations, conferring often with executives, men like President F.P. Williams, who came up from the ranks to assume command of the organization. All phases of operation are directed by company executives, including the planning, design, and building of new stores and the remodeling of older locations. The construction department is one of the very few in the retail merchandising field with complete control over design and construction of all company properties. This careful control is seen in the uniform good looks of Kresge stores. The company's close acquaintance with the needs of its customers, whether in downtown areas, neighborhood locations, or in suburban shopping centers, assures the right facilities for every store. Modern in every respect, each store is planned to afford easy, convenient shopping in an unhurried, cheerful atmosphere. The Home Office Accounting Department processes thousands of orders and invoices received from the entire chain of stores. The latest electronic business machines have assumed most of the detailed work required in accounting for expenditures and receipts. But a carefully trained staff is still needed to supervise the calculation and recording of store orders, which represent payment to suppliers of more than $1 million a day throughout the year. The success of the Kresge chain depends on the buying department, made up of 21 skilled buyers who know the needs of their customers, know what they want to buy, how much they want to pay, men who have their finger on the public's buying pulse at all times. Each buyer keeps in close touch with the stores he serves and keeps his eye open for new products which might please his customers. Long experience usually proves his selections to be the right ones. His score is high because he recognizes need and value. Kresge's 2,000 suppliers are always welcome at the home office because their manufacturing plants fill the counters with quality merchandise. The 30,000 items they sell the company are its lifeblood. Kresge and its suppliers become close friends. Together they offer customers the best in quality and value. The store manager is authorized to order goods the buyers have selected. He too knows his customers' needs, and constant checks of merchandise on display and in stock tell him what to order. Very often a manager will be asked to try out a new item, and if it sells well, it's placed on the regular Kresge buying list. At other times, the buying department helps store managers by allocating certain amounts of a special item that's considered appealing to all customers but usually the manager orders new items from the weekly sales bulletin according to the needs of his own store. Managers work closely with their salespeople, holding weekly classes to acquaint them with new methods and merchandise so that customers will be served in the most efficient, courteous manner.
A store manager comes up through the ranks, attaining success through hard work, first as a stock clerk, then as junior assistant manager, moving on to senior assistant manager, and finally to complete management of his own store. Before he takes charge of his own store, the new manager visits his district office to meet department heads and executives and to learn about each phase of the chain's operation. This behind-the-scenes look gives him an idea of the problems of his fellow workers in the home office and how they function in support of the individual stores. Then he's ready to go out on his own, perhaps to a small store at first, but as he proves himself, his assignments will grow in responsibility. When a new Kresge manager takes over a store, he's practically in business for himself. He's furnished with merchandise and capital. His own initiative, his hard work and determination will earn dividends for the store and for himself. Kresge managers are encouraged to build a team spirit in the store. Salespeople are instructed in the merits of the merchandise they sell, in the importance of courtesy so that customers will return. The Kresge manager is also encouraged to participate actively in civic organizations to build the company's reputation not only as a thriving business, but as a strong member of the community. In keeping with its policy of offering only quality merchandise to its customers, Kresge's relies on its own pottery at Mount Clemens, Michigan to turn out its famous line of dinnerware. The only manufacturing plant owned by the firm, the Mount Clemens Pottery Company was purchased in 1920 to assure the stores of a steady supply of fine table china. Complete modernization has made it the most mechanically modern plant in the pottery industry, as well as one of the largest industries in the city of Mount Clemens, employing some 500 people at peak periods of production. The combination of up-to-date machinery and skilled workers gives the plant a capacity of nearly a quarter million pieces a day. Though mechanization is widely used at the plant, handwork is still needed on such difficult to form pieces as the oval platter. Attention to quality continues through the dusting and glazing operations. Handsome gold coin edging is quickly and precisely applied to each piece. Carefully stacked pieces move into the lair where the decoration is baked on, then they're packed for shipment to 700 Kresge stores. Kresge food counters are favorite with shoppers and with folks who make a special trip just to enjoy a delicious luncheon at modest cost. Quality food, expert preparation, and immaculate surroundings are bywords in each store's food department. The tempting array of sandwiches and full meals is always good reason to return. In the home office, a modern experimental kitchen develops new and enticing dishes to satisfy hearty appetites. Under the direction of a graduate dietitian, the kitchen is busy at all times, testing new products, trying out new recipes, making sure that each food counter offers the same quality meals. Before it's served at any store, a dish must meet every requirement of purity and wholesomeness set forth by the company dietitian. Throughout a Kresge store, quality meets the customer's eye. From the smallest items to the higher priced lines, only the best is displayed. Whether we look for apparel or toys or household aids, whether we're shopping for the youngsters, for mom or for dad, the merchandise we choose is guaranteed high quality by the most modern merchandising methods. The selection is wide too. Experienced buyers have seen to that. They've ordered something for every taste, a price to suit every budget. Such items as ladies' coats, bicycles, power tools, and lawn mowers are answering the needs of a more prosperous society. But though the cost of these products is higher, the Kresge policy remains the same, quality and value for the customer, the very same policy upon which the company was founded back in 1899.
Yet even in this modern day, where do we buy thread or combs, toothpaste, ribbons, or buttons? Millions still buy them at the five and 10. With the addition of new kinds of merchandising has come a change in facilities and a widening of services. Today's five and 10 goes beyond the simple limited service of years ago. Larger items need heavy protective wrappings. The day of the small paper bag is gone and a trained staff is needed in each store just to box the luxury apparel and other large merchandise now available at Kresge's. The newest innovation in fast, efficient service is the checkout counter in neighborhood stores that feature self-service. With all the modernization, though, service remains friendly. A close association continues between the store and its customers. Scenes like this are an everyday occurrence at Kresge stores in 28 states from the Dakotas to the Atlantic seaboard and in Canada, from coast to coast. It's a different scene from the one that greeted the first Kresge customers back in 1899, for variety store retailing has changed, has grown with America. Today, the five and 10 is big business. But for all its expansion, its modernization, the reasons for its popularity are the same. Quality and value unsurpassed by any other type of store. Thrifty shoppers still crowd into Kresge's in towns both large and small, in downtown areas, in neighborhood locations, in suburban shopping centers, because it fills their need for thousands of different items. In the past half century, our economy has soared. Our population has multiplied. The boundaries of our cities have expanded. And the five and 10 has also grown, becoming a beloved American institution, creating a magical vision of a shopping wonderland to millions of people. <laughs>